Well, with no racing currently at the Singapore Turf Club due to the ongoing coronavirus and circuit breaker that's been implemented here in Singapore, I thought this was a great opportunity for us to look back at some of the highlights of 2019. And if we cast our memories back to September the 22nd of last year, we were treated to a vintage renewal of the Group 1 Raffles Cup. First run back in 1992, it's a race with a rich history and last year certainly didn't let us down in the slightest. The race going to Makanani for trainer Hideyuki Takaoka, who's got such a wonderful record when it comes to fillies and mares uh, and landing some of the big prizes here at the Singapore Turf Club. And as for the man on her back, well, he was seeking a first Group 1 success, having gone so close in his adopted home of Germany a few years uh, earlier. Uh, and a great ride it was from Mark Lerner to steer Makanani home in front in what was a pulsating finish, which was to give us some clues towards the Gold Cup coming up uh, later on in the year. But I do hope you enjoy this uh, look back at the Raffles Cup. It was certainly a cracking renewal of the race. Uh, and we start by picking them up in the parade ring, for which I'm sure you'll agree, Makanani looked an absolute picture. Uh, move on to uh, the next runner in parade. Uh, a few of the connections just making their way out to gain their vantage point out front ahead of uh, our feature race. 11 minutes away as we take a look at horse 15. This is Makanani who ran such a, a big race when going forward in the committee's prize last time, Dan. Um, one thing I will say about her, I had a look at her a few moments ago. She looks fantastic, this mare. She's doing it in great order and what a run, uh, what a race she ran last start. Um, she was enormous. And Luke, uh, Luke made a good point of it on... Uh, I guess our show before the race is that he thinks she's probably one of the value runners of the day and can definitely give this a shake. And I tend to agree with him. I don't think they're going to ride her with similar tactics the way they did last star, but in saying that anyway, I think she'll be ridden prominently and with a repeat dose of that, she can definitely give a sign. Yeah, she's just wandering under the big screen now. There's the uh, riding notification uh, from the barrier to attempt to settle handy midfield to obtain cover uh, with Makanani there. She will be racing from gate number nine, Makanani number 15, the mount of uh, Mark Lerner. The last few have gone in, ready for the Raffles Cup. Off they go now, caught them in a pretty good line, going back shortly after the start was Star Emperor, Mr. Clint showed no speed and Watts News in the last four or five. Eye Guy from out deep is showing great speed with Predator Sun Marshall, Elite Invincible up there as well. Count of Monte Cristo, he's also using his low draw to improve when they link up with the course proper. It's Eye Guy and Predator deep out looking to cross. Count of Monte Cristo trailing them just behind them in third placing. Inside of the derby winner Sun Marshall, then came Elite Invincible. Circuit Land posted a bit deep. Mr. Yo is back on the inside, inside of Clarton Super. Makanani centre field as Circuit Land continues to drift back now on her outside in those green colours. Next in the run was Watts New outside of the Selangor Cup winner True Sun. Further back Safir, Mr. Clint in the last few runners with War Affair and Star Emperor can see them all to the side they go. 23.60 was the first 400 metres, so they went quick. It's Eye Guy and Neck in front of Predator. Count of Monte Cristo poised. He's off the fence. Sun Marshall deeper out. Nickel that. Behind them was Mr. Yo as they're about to turn at the 450. Elite Invincible at the head of the others. Watch New being ridden for luck by Rod back near the inside. They're in the straight in the Raffles Cup. And Predator surges up on the outside and heads off Eye Guy. He went for home. Predator to the outside. Count of Monte Cristo trying to rev up Elite Invincible. Further back then was Sophia running a bold race and Macanay from the tail, 150 out, Predator getting tired, McInerney and Safir are going after him, late Mr. Clint, McInerney, Safir, Mr. Clint flying and Predator the fence, big finish in the Raffles Cup, a thriller, I think it's between McInerney, Mr. Clint, third of photo, Predator and Safir and a thrilling finish to the big one, what's new behind those then, Star Emperor, Elite Invincible, Mr. Yo, Count of Monte Cristo disappointed, Clark and Super, War Affair, Sun Marshall, I Guy and True Sun was one of the last circuit lands pulled up at the tail great finish he's taken out a big group one here nick child about to move up alongside of mark Lerner and get his reaction yeah thanks luke uh, mark Lerner is absolutely delighted and, and rightly so mark very well done you've, you've got the bobbin where it mattered a group one here in singapore that's my first group one i'm very happy like when dan asked me today you know, last year was very difficult for me, but I had a chance to get the support from the Takaoka stable. And I'm happy to have a chance to ride horses like this. And Mark, your family is, is steeped in, in racing history and, and, and 
plenty of the learners training in France and riding and Germany as well. I mean, this will give them a great thrill back home. You know, my father, he always check all my races, my brother the same. And I'm pretty sure today they will be very happy for me. And talk us through the run, obviously, because we know she's a very good mare and she looked great in the parade ring as well. So you must have come into this race full of confidence here today. Yeah, we, we didn't know how to ride or to ride her today because last time she was keen. But we know she, we know she has the quality. She just needs to settle. And I'm sure more distance will be better for her. Well, listen, Mark, you enjoy the moment. There's a few happy punters here. Well done, you. Oh, thank you. Mark Lerner wins his first Group 1 here, Dan. What a performance from Makanani. Thanks, Nick. I'm here with Mr. Takaoka, Hideyuki Takaoka. Describe the emotions running through your body right now. And look what she's done in her last two efforts. Uh, a gallant effort last start, and she's notched up a Group 1 here today. Yeah, absolutely, Dan. Well said. She is uh, she's superb, really. And again, we were talking about what's new beforehand. Value for, for fillies and mares. This has enhanced her no end. And, and the big valley, they are breeders as well. So uh, this, will, uh, this will be a, a massive, massive win. How can your heart not go out to Bernardo Pinheiro, who's gone so, so close uh, in a couple of, uh, of Group 1s here in, in Singapore? That's a, a nose defeat. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's such a shame for the young man because uh, he's ridden the horse beautifully twice, but he's come off second best. All honours with the winner, though. Mark Lerner, look, he's... He admitted it, Nick, that he, he didn't begin all that great in his stint here in Singapore. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and we now come to the prize presentation of our feature race this afternoon, the Group 1 uh, Raffles Cup, one in great style by number 15, uh, Makanani. I would now like to welcome uh, to the prize presentation for the Raffles Cup, uh, on stage chairman, Mr. Lim Ju Boon, committee members, Mr. Fong Heng Boo, Mr. Michael Chin, Ms. Lim Siat Jin, and Mr. Andrew Lowe to conduct our prize presentation here this afternoon. Many thanks uh, to them. I would now like to invite Mr. Lim Ju Boon to present the prizes for the Raffles Cup, but won by number 15, Makanani, who is raced by the Big Valley Stable. I'd like to welcome on stage, representing the winning stable, Madam Yuki Otani. <laughs> the Big Valley Stable, who have raced uh, many good horses uh, here in Singapore, and they win a Raffles Cup here this afternoon, courtesy of their mayor, uh, Makanani. Ladies and gentlemen, the winning trainer, he makes a habit of winning all the most of the group ones here in Singapore, and he's won the Raffles Cup now, Hideyuki Takaoka. <laughs> a man with such a great record in the Singapore Gold Cup, and this mayor will surely be destined to, to go there uh, in about six weeks' time. Well done to Mr. Takaoka. And ladies and gentlemen, today is a big day for this man. He's ridden his first group one winner. Give him a big round of applause, Mark Lerner. <laughs> An excellent ride from Mark, and... He's denied some uh, very good horses in the finish uh, here this afternoon. Mr. Clint, Elite Invincible uh, and Predator to name, but a few there. So uh, very well done to Mark, and I'm sure uh, this will be a replay here. Watch uh, again and again. Many congratulations to our winners of Makanani, uh, the Big Valley Stable, Hideyuki Takaoka and Mark Lerner. I'd now like to ask you all to gather for a group photograph after winning the 2019 Raffles Cup. Well, a day that Mark Lerner will never forget, uh, winning his very first Group 1 on board Makanani for trainer Hideyuki Takaoka in the Raffles Cup. A tremendous ride and a great win and certainly well deserved. And I'm sure, as you could tell from his post-race interview, the emotion there for all to see. And that success certainly cementing him uh, and his place amongst the top echelon of riders here at uh, Kranji. Mark went on later in the year to win the EW Barker on board Fame Star as well at Group 2 level. And I'm sure many more group successes uh, will fall the Frenchman's way in due course once racing resumes. I do hope you've uh, enjoyed this look back at last year's Raffles Cup. Uh, do like and subscribe to this channel uh, and uh, hopefully we'll have your company again very soon indeed. Goodbye.